competitive swimming styles, the breaststroke is the slowest and most inefficient stroke of them all. So excelling in this event requires textbook technique. To analyze the physics of the breaststroke, we recruited Olympic medalist and U.S. national team member, Rebecca Sony. Unlike other swimming styles, where the vast majority of propulsion comes from the upper body, in the breaststroke, up to 80% of the propulsion comes from the legs. Elite swimmers, like Rebecca, generate about 100 pounds of force in each kick. As her body pushes forward, Rebecca experiences resistance from turbulent waters around her called wave drag. To help overcome this drag, Rebecca maintains her body in a horizontal position. Like a downhill skier tucks to become aerodynamic, Rebecca compresses the frontal cross section of her body to roughly 100 square inches to pierce through the water. Force sensors between Rebecca's fingers reveal that she generates up to 24 pounds of peak force with each stroke. Most swimmers begin to generate force a half a second into their stroke. What's remarkable about Rebecca's stroke is that she generates over 40% of her force in just the first two tenths of a second of the stroke. The average swimmer's force exertion in each hand can vary by up to 20%. This large imbalance can cause a swimmer to angle off course. Incredibly, in each of Rebecca's strokes, the force in her arm pull only varies by about half a percent. This straightforward propulsion allows Rebecca Sony to cover 5.25 feet with each stroke. That's almost 50% farther than the average recreational swimmer. For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Brinkus. Hey!